Let's go to Ogun State, where the Nobel laureate Wole Shoyinka has described corruption as a deadly cankerworm. It leaves great nations in ruins and puts the people at a great disadvantage. He made his known in Abeokuta during the 26th annual Wole Shoyinka lectures, and senior reporter Kazim Olowe reports. For Nigeria to win the war against corruption, there is need for attitudinal change and citizens must be ready to do the right thing at all times. The Africa's first Nobel laureate, Wale Shoyinka, gave this advice during the 26th annual Wale Shoyinka lectures organized by the National Association of Sea Dogs, otherwise known as the Pirate Confraternity. The theme of the lecture held at the June 12th Cultural Center, Kuto Abeokuta, was the baby or the bathwater, navigating the dark tunnels of systemic corruption to nationhood. Corruption is not just when you change money. Corruption is a canker world that really eats into the fabric of society from the top to the bottom and corrupts our very nature, our very existence. The cure for corruption begins from the inside. Yes, we can talk about institutions, about government. We can talk about even the issue of power, the exercise of power, unfairly, inordinately, to the disadvantage of the rest of the community, all that is part of corruption. But ultimately, the solution, short term, immediate, long term, has to begin from the inside. Speaking on the theme of the lecture by Bartolé Fashola, who was the guest lecturer, said corruption has affected the country's cherished moral values and has therefore corrupted the people's way of life. He said the number of lives lost on Nigerian roads every month as a result of wrong attitudes and values is far more than what is lost to insecurity that everyone complains about in the country. The list of acts of non-compliance which corrupt our road transport sector is as long as we can imagine. And if you think deeply, and I'm sure you already are, you will be able to come up with more of these instances than I have possibly even mentioned here. The main challenges that this country faces, corruption, insecurity, poverty, lack of development. The Capon of the National Association of Sea Dogs commended Wale Shoyinka for his consistency and for being the voice of reason against all forms of injustice against humanity. The program also featured the presentation of Wale Shoyinka Leadership Awards to three deserving winners and unveiling of a book. Kazimolowe, TVC News. Abeo Kuta.